Mike here with the Ford 8N. I'm actually in my basement. I pulled this in here because we were expecting some really bad weather and apparently it petered out and we got nothing but rain. So anyway, it gave me a chance to start working on something that was an issue on this tractor. Uh, let me flip the video around and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so the problem we had, this is a one wire alternator, but you'll notice there's more than one wire on it. Well, what's going on here? So when I got the alternator, brand new, the tractor was not charging even at high RPMs. So I took it back, had the alternator tested, and it was putting out 64 amps. So did some digging, thank you Google, and there was a rubber plug hiding two terminals on this. The bottom terminal here, this terminal number two, which is jumpered to the one wire that's constant hot. The second terminal, which is actual terminal one on the top, goes back to the ignition switch and under here is a 50 volt one amp diode that keeps the uh, current from back flowing off of the alternator. Now these diodes are very, very small. I literally ordered a pack of 25 for a buck 50 off of eBay. They're very cheap but this protects the circuit from any back voltage. And after doing that, and wiring this wire with the diode to the load side of the ignition switch, I'm now charging even at a low idle. So, anyway, hope you guys learned something from this. Um, if you did, like the video, and uh, we'll see you next time.